Hi there everyone and welcome to another Pokemon Ultra Moon battle. This is a Wi-Fi battle against the streamer slash YouTuber Mr. Chadbury. I hadn't uh, heard of him until I found his Twitch but he does have a pretty big YouTube that I'll link in the description and uh, challenged him to a battle and this is how it went. I said, um, oh you mixed, since my highest tier mon there I think is OU, but I've got a, quite a few under OU as well. Here we go. I don't know which music this is. Let me know if you know. So he leads off with Rotom, and I of course lead off with my Ribombi, because as we all know by now, I want to get up my sticky web. Now, Rotoms often like the trick on their first turn, so I decided to go for a Toxic, just to get off as much damage as I could, or residual damage. But we see it didn't actually go for the trick, so this isn't a Choice Scarf one. Hits me with that overheat, but of course my Focus Sash allows me to remain alive at 1 HP. And since I outspeed, I know I'm safe to go for my Sticky Web. I did half expect him to switch out there, but as we see, he actually goes for the Volt Switch. In my opinion, a questionable play, because now he's going to be forced to switch a Pokemon in. I'm going to get to see which Pokemon that is, and then I can choose whoever I want to counter it. So here I figure Kabutops will be a good match, and I'll go for my good old Sword Dance strategy, while he hits me with a physical attack does very little damage, activates my weak armor, which lowers my defense but doubles my speed, and unfortunately I get flinched. Very unfortunate. But here I actually get greedy, I'm like, right, just go for the Zord Dance anyway, because I'm thinking if this thing's multi-scale, I still won't be able to take it out. But he switches up attacks and goes for the Outrage, and with my lowered defense, that's not going to be enough to survive. Quite unfortunate, one of my most powerful Pokemon there. But now I bring in the Togekiss, who of course is immune to Dragon. I decide to get a Wish up here, and I'm debating whether I should switch or not. But here I decide to stay. I want to break that thing's um, multi-scale if I can. But he switches into Rotom. Very unfortunate, as I went for the very move Dazzling Gleam, which is resisted by fire. This is my more bulky, wish-passing, heel-belling Togekiss. I decide to see how much the Rotom can do to me, and it does a substantial amount. Quite unfortunate. As I just go for another wish. Now I have the choice of protecting, and recovering all my HP, or switching on to another Pokémon. And here I choose the former. Going into Kira my Gallade to absorb that wish. We do avoid the overheat, which is beautiful. That's payback for getting flinched with Iron Head. So, of course, I Mega Evolve. I am a bit worried that maybe this thing has Will O Wisp, but I know three of its moves so far, and none of them are Will O Wisp. I'm gonna take the chance. So, I go for the bulk up. My opponent here was starting to laugh thinking he'd got me, but I did not go for Sword Dance. I went for good old Bulk Up. Fixing Kira's less than great defense stat. Now with my defense and attack at plus one, I can just Drain Punch everything, recovering my HP while doing massive damage. So Rotom's gone, and that's good for me, as out comes Durant. My Drain Pitch uh, punch will be a neutral attack, because it's a bug and steal, but I'll go for it anyway. I doubt he'll be able to kill me once I've restored my HP. So yes, it does survive, but I get my HP back up to full. As he lets loose with a Z move. Seems to be the dark Z move, so I'm assuming Z home claws, perhaps? But actually, going for the offense here must be crunch or something. Let's loose with that black hole eclipse, but with my plus one in defense and that not being stabbed, I am able to live 
at about one quarter HP. And hit back with a drain punch. Bringing me up to about a third or more. As out comes Dragonite. Now, I'm probably in trouble here. It can't kill me with an extreme speed, but I doubt I can kill it with an ice punch with multi scale. But shebang, it actually goes straight down. I'm not 100% sure of that. It does have multi scale then, because I never thought I'd be able to one hit KO it. As out comes Septal, who, being caught in the sticky web, means I will outspeed, even if it is a mega. And I will be able to go first with my Ice Punch. So, not looking good for Sceptile there. <laughs> Actually, I figured I'd do heavy damage with Drain Punch, and uh, it wouldn't be able to KO me. I did not expect to KO it with Drain Punch, but here we are. Its defenses aren't that great. As out comes me Ligo, which is a perfect Pokemon for me to slay. Let loose with a physical psycho cut. Easily one hit KOing. My only concern was if it actually had the focus sash as some of them do. And out comes Crawdunt, a dark type, weak to my drain punch. And I happen to have this battle in the bag. My opponent's team, Mr. Chadbury here. A bit weak to Mega Gallade, his team seems to be. But hey. I was pretty concerned with uh, the misplays I made with Kabutops and Togekiss. Luckily, Kira was able to come in and sweep. That's why I love stat boosting moves. Fixes my broken defense and betters my attack. And that was a good battle, Mr. Shadbury. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed.